Hello and welcome to our Campus Insider Studios. I'm Shay Pepler. And to discuss the latest in the world of recruiting, let's welcome in Alan True, recruiting analyst for Scout.com. And Alan, we're now in the dead period of recruiting where coaches cannot contact recruits anymore until January 14th of 2015. So things starting to slow down a bit. Give me three storylines that we should all keep an eye on. Well, the dead period didn't stop three of our five stars from committing today. First, Ricky DeBerry, linebacker from Virginia, committed to Oklahoma, and they really needed a linebacker in this class. Missed out on a couple guys recently. He could be an instant impact guy for them. Charlie Strong in Texas had a big day in the crown jewel of that class so far is Malik Jefferson, our number two player in the country, number one linebacker. He certainly could step in right away for the Longhorns and play next year. And then Jarrett Stidham, a quarterback who decommitted from Texas Tech earlier in the month. He picked Baylor today, so he's staying in, in state but flipped schools. So big weekend, obviously, for the Big 12. Alan, looking at the big picture, only three points separate Alabama and Georgia from being the number one and number two team recruiting ranking. How much does that matter? Do you think the Crimson Tide can run away with it, or is it closer than people think? It is very close right now. They were tied a couple of days ago. A couple of things move around. Uh, player rankings are going to move through the All-Star games. There's still room for those schools to add commitments or possibly lose commitments. So I think that that's going to be a close race all the way to the end. And as far as recruiting rankings go, there's always a debate about this every year. But last year was a great example. Florida State and Auburn were number one and number two in the recruiting rankings in 2011. They played for a national title last year. And then if you look at this year's four teams in the college football playoff, and you average their ranking over the last four years, which are the kids on the roster right now. Alabama and Ohio State both average out to a top four recruiting class. Florida State averages out to the number seven class in the country. And Oregon's still a little bit of an outlier, but they average out to the number 16 class. So still a top 20 class. So you still have to develop players. You have to have a good strength and conditioning program, but the recruiting rankings do matter to a certain extent. Yeah, Mark Richter in Georgia, right there in the thick of things. All right, Alan True, thanks so much for the time. And for more surrounding recruiting and all things college football related, be sure to keep it locked on CampusInsiders.com.